2.3b, Multiply and Divide Fractions, Multiply with Reducing. Consider we have 4 ninths times 6 fifths. This would give us 24 40 fifths. And then we have a common factor of 3 that we would divide out and we would get that this equals 8 fifteenths. But if we wrote or if we factored each of these, in other words if we took the common factor out, notice that 6 and 9 have a common factor of 3. So if we took 6 and we divided by 3, we would get 2. And 9, if we divided by 3, we would get 3. And then we multiplied, we would get 8 fifteenths, and we would get an answer that's already reduced. So when multiplying, we can divide a common factor from the numerator and denominator. When we go into our examples, we look at each of one of these. I notice that in example one, 6 and 15 have a common factor of 3. So if I take 6 and divide it by 3, I get 2. 15 divided by 3 gives me 5. 14 and 35 have a common factor of 7, so 14 divided by 7 is 2. 35 divided by 7 gives me 5. And if I multiply now, I'm going to get 4 25ths. And notice that I have no common factors in my answer. Let's look at example 2. When I look at this one, I see that 14 and 35 have a common factor of 7. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. 35 divided by 7 is 5. But notice that 6 and 2 have a common factor. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now if I multiply that out, I'm going to get 15 thirteenths. And I have no common factors in my answer, so I do not need to reduce. And I am done.